Okay. Uh, the next person to be heard for public comment is Mr. Paul Mozina. Hello, commissioners uh, and um, MPD. I appreciate this opportunity. I wanted to call your attention to some items from the CGI report that were not addressed in uh, the, the, the report, the summary report from the FPC. And one of the, one of them is that uh, from the CGI report, it says the FPC and the MPD both lack a detailed and prospective planning document with processes that include that includes delineated assignments and timetables for all the remaining requirements. I, I, you may recall, I, I, I've been speaking to you all about this since September of 2018, asking when is the FPC and the MPD going to come forward with times, detailed times, um, timelines, plans, staffing, s actual concrete steps. How are you going to get this done? It still hasn't happened. And CGI did report that, and, and it wasn't mentioned in your report. So I just wanted to make sure that you all, that still remains to be done and hasn't been done yet. CGI also says the settlement agreement has expectations for the FPC that far exceed its current role and its ability based on the current staffing levels. Well, we, we, we still don't understand how, how, because we don't have a plan, we don't know what staffing requirements exist in the FPC. So, we, it, it, we, there's, there, the uh, CGI, excuse me, is saying you have a whole lot of work to do. We don't know how you're gonna get it done. How are you gonna get your work done? So, we, it's so critically important that you enumerate. We, I mean, we just heard about the, the need. Now we, now we hear that CAD and track CMS and, and RMS all need to be updated. I mean, th you're talking about a, a complex series of steps that have to occur for this to, to, for, to, um, to succeed. So, please do uh, require these people to come up with plans. Um, uh, you know, uh, regarding the complaint datum, uh, the, the FPC was required to publish some new complaint data on their website. That data only has FPC com uh, complaints that were submitted to the FPC. It does not include complaints that were submitted to the MPD. That is a, that is a lack. It, it's called out in the documents by CJI. They said you don't have the complaints from the MPD. You only have the ones from the FPC. That has to be addressed. It's called out in the document. It also, the, the document also calls out the fact that it says, um, one challenge for, for FPC in publishing the complaint data is that the complaint database lacks the compliant categories outlined in the settlement agreement. Therefore, currently, the analyst at FPC manually categorizes complaints to fit into the required categories based on the narratives of the complaints. We anticipate that FPC and MPD will work together to make this process more efficient and effective and preserve the intent of the complaints. So the point is, these complaint forms do not ask for, they don't. They don't have an explicit way to categorize what, uh, whether the the unjustified um, traffic stops, field interviews, no action encounters. So the complaint doesn't say this was a complaint related to uh, um, an unjustified traffic stop, field interview, no action encounter, frisk. It, the complaint forms don't indicate a, an opportunity to indicate if it was a race or ethnicity based traffic stop, field interview, no action encounter. So the, the complaint forms themselves do not allow the opportunity for the complainant to indicate what context this complaint occurred in. Was it a search? Was it a stop? Was I being uh, profiled? And now when we look at the data that was just published on January 2nd, there is mention in the data of a CAD disposition codes and PDF and a CAD call types. There's a couple of documents that are reference documents that are not published <coughs> along with the other data. That, those documents need to be published for, for anyone in the public to be able to interpret that data. That, that's, I'm on the second page now. Um, the, um, and the, the, the uh, 
the PDF that accompanies the data says, well, we had to, we had to um, redact some information. Well, I, I just want to let you know what, what is redacted. What is redacted is the justi justification for pat down, justification for search, justification for the stop, justification for use of force. This, this is the heart of the matter. This is why the ACLU settlement exists, because the MPD has not been able to uh, justify f the constitutional uh, prerequisites for why they stopped these people, and the data that's been redacted from the third quarter report is, is the textual data, the justification for the stops. Now, uh, I'll wrap it up real quick, but if, if, these, if this is a text field, the, the police officers need to be trained. Don't put personal identification information in these text fields. If you're trying to document the justification for the stop, then just put the justification in that field. Don't put personal information in there, because that's why, th that's why I'm assuming these, these, this data has been redacted. The justifications for the stop searches and uses of force have all been redacted. It's, <laughs> that's the purpose of the, of the, of the um, intent. I, I'll wrap it up real quick. The, the, the CGI report calls for um, uh, policing status report. There's no policing status, I'm sorry, I said that too fast. No community policing status report. Those reports have not been produced yet. It's not called out in, in your summary report that those reports are missing. The, the CGI report calls for rules guiding the timing of decisions and processes for making decisions. There's no rules for the timing. We, the, the SOP 765, asset forfeiture, you all start chopping that up uh, over a year ago. What happened to that, uh, that, what happened to that SOP? So those, I'm, I'm asking for, uh, give us time to digest the data that's been published and, and reschedule this for a month from now and let us, let us uh, 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 an opportunity to look at the data and we're going to have more feedback. But I, I'm asking you to, to, to hold them accountable to, and yourselves accountable to come up with plans, detailed plans, and um, I appreciate your time. I know I went way over. I, I'm sorry, everybody, but I really appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, the next person to be heard for public comment is